else is on YouTube dropping these kind of gems. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're back on the BMW E93. In the last episode, we got the front end kind of sorted out. We still got some work to do there. And in this episode, we're going to continue with the rest of the car. But I've also driven down my Golf R. We've got to finish off some work on that. But that is looking, sounding, and driving amazing. But still got some work to do on that. So we're going to be finishing all of that. If this is the first time you're watching the channel, please make sure you subscribe because we've got some new builds coming. We've got some exciting stuff coming on the channel and if you're following me on Instagram you would have had a sneak preview you'll know what I'm talking about but Salvage Nation is going on tour that's all I'm gonna say check it out on Instagram it's Sunday morning and this video is coming out Sunday afternoon we're working overtime because I want to be able to put out a video for you I was a bit busy during the week so I wasn't able to record and finish off all the cars all the projects have been stopped because I've had some personal stuff that I needed to sort out so I woke up nice and early on Sunday morning we're gonna blitz through lots and lots of work we're gonna get this video done in time for you guys to see it tonight at five o'clock but before we get started with all of that I want to talk to you about the Salvage Nation raffle if you remember a few months ago I teamed up with the guys from Access Competitions and I raffled one of my own beloved rebuilt BMW E92 325i I put so much work time and money into that car and as of now it's still set with Access Competitions um, looking back in hindsight, maybe the channel wasn't big enough to run a raffle just as yet, but we are here. For all the guys who have bought tickets, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, and I know that it's been a long time. I know you've been waiting. However, we haven't sold enough tickets. I've inquired with Access Competitions to get the car back, refund the tickets, and just sell the car outright or something like that so that we can move on with the channel and get bigger and better builds. However, because of legal reasons, I can't do that. So we're stuck and we've had to extend and extend and extend. And once again, we've just extended the Salvage Nation raffle. So I need you guys to head on over to accesscompetitions.co.uk invest support the channel grab some tickets do whatever you can to help with the salvage nation raffle let's make it a success remember guys you're getting this beautiful bmw e92 325i automatic i've done lots of mods it's got a custom exhaust custom interior custom led lighting on the dash there's so much that i did to this car it's got a stage one remap and to sweeten the deal you're gonna get 500 pound in cash i've had a lot of dms and a lot of messages saying but you're gonna get more than what the car's worth and it's not gonna be this and it's not gonna be that look a lot of time effort and money has gone into the car and i'm gonna be giving it to someone who potentially couldn't afford that car to begin with so it's going to go to a worthy cause and a portion of all the funds raised is going to be going to a UK charity so if you like watching Salvage Nation and you want to support the channel head on over to accesscompetitions.co.uk purchase some tickets and I can't wait to just give this car to someone see the look on their face when they drive it for the first time it's such a lovely car so with that sorted let's move on to what we have to do today all right guys so the plan for today is I want to sort out some of these gaps. I want to continue to fasten down all the front end, but check these out. These are a set of alloys that I've got. And if you look, I had already changed just the one on the front because that one was completely broken. Now I want to do a test drive in this episode as well. Um, just take it around the block. And one of the things is the alloys on the front are a little bit bigger than the one on the back. So I just want to make sure that everything is sitting level so that I can double check that everything that we've done on the suspension fix is okay. The car's driving all right. And then we can move on to the interior. Now, I want to give a massive shout out to one of my subscribers. He left a comment. That's why I always reply to my comments. He left a comment in the last video that told me the reason why my central locking wasn't working is because the mirror, the receiver for the central locking is actually in the mirror. So I need to sort that out. And then we just want to continue to prep for all the bodywork. So let's just dive straight in, get all of that sorted.
guys, never tighten your nuts that hard. They should never be that hard. Guys, look at that drop. Yeah! See the way that drop? See the way? That's the way it should look. Proper tucked. a lot better now that all four wheels match but this is why I wanted to put the wheels on me and Akeem were just looking at it if you look at the back wheel it just looks slightly out of place so we reckon that one of those suspension arms might be bent around the back yeah we'll lift it up later on and we'll check but for now I want to move on to this mirror because I want to see if I can get the central lock into work alrighty guys so I went ahead and I tore apart this is the new but used um, rear view mirror that I bought cars have come such a long way and this is still an old model now back in the days this would just be a simple mirror like so but have a look at the inner workings of this there's so much circuitry and technology that's in these BMW mirrors um, this is part of the security system um, and if you've got one of these models when you lock it this little red dial at the bottom it kind of flashes um, it's all part of it so that's the reason why my central locking isn't working because this is not present this is the one that was broken on the car have a look it was just completely shredded out have a look at the size of that one and then look at the size of this one. It's completely different. Um, I thought maybe I could just remove this, pop that one back in and repin it. However, I've just realized, I've just discovered that the wiring, the colors are completely different. The pin slots and numbers are completely different. So you know what, I'm not gonna waste any more time. It shouldn't be too expensive to order one of these in. Now that I've got this, I can use the part numbers that's written on right there and I'll order a new mirror in and hopefully my central locking should be working once I get that. With that done, let's continue, get started on some bodywork. The first thing we gotta do is sand down all the paint. Once I sand down all the paint, that will allow me to do some bodywork or IQ to do some bodywork. And then we're gonna put some body filler, make sure all of that is looking nice and neat. And then we're gonna be doing some plastic welding to that rear bumper and add some body filler to that as well. However, we've just been discussing the front end and I wanna show you a few things. It's like, this car has been cheap, but it's cheap for a reason, check it out. So this was an aftermarket wing that I had lying around from one of my previous builds and I thought, great, I've got the part, let's get it on the car. It's on the car, it's secure, it's in, we've tried to manoeuvre it, but because it's aftermarket, have a look at these gaps. If I take it all the way back to, to sort out that gap, then it makes a bigger gap on the front. And that's the issue with aftermarket parts, sometimes they don't quite line up. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching will know that. I, I, I know that, that's a general rule, but I thought this one should be all right. So we've decided to, we're gonna leave it on the car for now, but we're gonna order another wing. Um, we wanna look for an original OEM part, used obviously, and get that swapped out. But if you think it stops there, check out the other side. The other wing was hiding some damage as well, and I only found it out now, and I'll show it to you, check it out. Now looking at this wing, everything looks fine, everything looks like it's in good nick. It's just got a tiny little chip there, and that's what we thought, until I just tried to attach the bumper. Now the bumper has got these little grooves here and the wing should have a corresponding groove and they're meant to meet on top of each other like this with a screw going in. However, it's completely smooth. It's missing it. Like, it shouldn't be like that. It should have a little lip like that. So this has got nothing to hold on to. There's certain ways you can <laughs> try to get it to fit together, but it's going to be very sketchy. And if the future buyer or future owner is driving and hits anything, it's going so we're not going to waste any time with that. Once again, we're going to have to order another wing. So there's two new wings we need to order but I'm hoping we can pick those up at a reasonable price. So now you're up to speed with all of that. Let's get the roof up so we can check those body lines and continue with the body work on the rear panel. Exhaust, it's definitely got a hole underneath there. So that's something we're gonna have to look into at a later date as well. Why couldn't you tell me? Someone could have, you could have knocked the glass, tell me.
guys, I've taken a little break. Have a look at that. Can you see all that damage? And the whole point is anywhere I can feel a high spot or low spot or a dent or anything, I'm gonna sand it back down to the bare metal so that we can bodywork it, flat it out, or add some body filler to raise it up. And then we have a nice clean surface to apply some body filler and then we can continue the bodywork. Up here, they had a tiny little dent right there and I can still feel the dent, so I'm happy there. Little dent there, little dent there. Now coming back, if you come to the back here, I need to remove this rear light so I can access this, have a look at that damage right there. Once we flat this down, then we can repair that little crease in there and then I'm gonna be dropping this bumper so I can deal with this area here. So I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, so let's continue. sanding down what I need to sand down. Also, this is going to be a very productive, it's becoming a very productive day. We're going to use this opportunity to double check all the control arms on this side just to see if there's any damage, if there's anything wrong, and then we'll continue bodywork in the quarter panel. Um, I'm going to try to get as much of it as I can in this episode, and hopefully I don't run into any further issues or hidden damage on this car. It's a lot of work, but it's simple work. I haven't seen anything that I'm scared of yet, and we're just gonna power through and continue doing what we do best here on the channel. If you're enjoying this kind of content, consider subscribing. Now, let's continue. Now, a couple of things that I've noticed on this panel that I'm not happy about. Two things, um, I think that at some point, this entire car must have been silver. When I changed the windscreen on the car, I realized that right along the seam, I could see all the silver paint, and it looks like you can see like a masking point where someone has sprayed the car white. I've sanded it down here and I've sanded two, two layers of paint, you guessed it, one white paint which is on the top and the other layer of silver and it looks like the car must have had a colour change in the past. I'm not too bothered about that, however it looks like someone has damaged and repaired this quarter panel before. All the dust tells me that there's lots of body filler underneath and trust me, like, I've felt it, you can actually feel, let me see if you can see that, I'll, I'll bring the camera closer. If you look right here there's a ridge, there's a ridge, it's not too much, I've seen worse. However, it just makes me a bit curious as to what the damage was before. And that's really like, they didn't do a good job on repairing um, the quarter panel before. I don't know if that's the damage that was caused in this accident or if it was before, but I can feel it. It's very ripply like that. And as you can see, there's a bit of a ridge right there. So that tells me there's a lot of body filler. I'm gonna wait until Akil comes and we're gonna speak and I'll see what he thinks, if we should sand it or laugh or if we, if we should just leave it, I'm not, I'm not sure. But we're gonna continue body work in this panel. Guys, we've got Akil back now. He went out to get some food and that. We're gonna sort out this bumper, put some more body filler down. So yeah, <laughs> the work is never ending. But before we continue with that, let's sort this out so that we can use this to get that body line nice and straight. And before we can do that, we need to sort out this bad boy. Hello. Yeah, that can't work. We need to get rid of that.
Guys, come on. Who else is on YouTube dropping these kind of gems? From the bumper repair, quarter panel repair, the door, everything. And as you saw just now, IQ went ahead and gave a little bit of adjustment to that rear wheel and it wasn't what we thought it was. There was no damage, it just needed a little bit of adjustment. Let's go check out everything that we've done. Right guys, so first of all, what IQ done, and look, this is as hard as, we went ahead and we did some plastic welding on the rear bumper. And as you saw, we've done the outside and we also done the inside. So this bumper, once this gets sanded with a bit of body filler and a little bit more body work, this is gonna be as good as new. And we've just saved ourselves, what, about 100 quid for a rear bumper, M Sport bumper as well. So we saved about 100 pound there. After that, Akil went ahead and used the spot puller. And as you can see, it's got all of these little dots. Once we sand it down with the grinder, all of that is gonna be smooth. We're gonna body work that by putting some more body fill on the top. This is now all the way out to the right dimensions and it's not as tucked as it was before because this whole section was too far in. Now it's out and then look, bumper is fitting up perfectly. Everything down here is fitting up perfectly. And the last thing is right here by the door, this bit had gone all the way in. Pull that back up and put the door. It's opening and closing fine, but it hasn't got that gap. Once again, we still need to put down some body filler, but we're gonna be doing that in the next episode. We went ahead and we did the rear socket for the rear light as well. Everything is looking nice, everything is looking sweet. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And let me know what you think of the alloys that we put on the car. Um, just a little preview, these alloys are gonna be refurbed in gloss black to really set it off. And these are some old alloys that we've got as well that came off the car. If anyone's in the market for an old set of alloys, drop me a DM on Instagram. And I think we've got an old set of alloys for a VW as well. So those are gonna be up for sale. So yeah guys, these are the old ones. These are the new ones. I think the new ones look a hell of a lot better. You let me know what you think in the comments down below. Yeah! All right guys, so there you have it. We managed to get so much done today. At the beginning of the video, I wanted to do a little bit more work on the Golf, but we decided to just really, really crack on with all the work that we needed to do on this car. This is more important, just so we can clear some space in the garage and stuff, and I'm happy. Akil did a good job today, and we managed to blitz out quite a lot of work. So this is where we're gonna be ending the episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you go down below, press that like button. The channel depends on it, guys, remember, comment like and share it really helps with the youtube algorithm and it helps push salvage nation so if you enjoy watching salvage nation you want to support the channel go down below press the like button like comment and share and if you're watching this you're not subscribed make sure you smash that subscribe button and finally if you want to support the channel head on over to access competitions uk buy some tickets for the salvage nation raffle let's make it a success and this is where we're going to be ending it so before we go, I just want to give you a sneak preview for the next episode. Next episode, we're going to be continuing the body work. We're going to be putting down some body filler, sanding that, getting it all ready for paint. Hopefully, we might be able to put down some primer. I'm not sure. But one thing is guaranteed, there's going to be a lot of hard work here on the channel. So this is where we're going to be ending it. And like I always say, keep it moving, and I'll see you in the next one. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Click here to see what you should think you should watch or click here to check out this playlist on one of my previous builds. And I'll catch you in the next one. We out.